Hey Bear Squad, what is up? Today we are going to be installing a new motherboard on a uh, machine that we have that's not reporting cash sales. Uh, so this is a older USI combo machine. Actually, uh, the right side is an FSI and the left side is uh, USI. They're pretty much the same. I definitely got the wrong size light bulb for this machine, which kind of stinks. I do apologize ahead of time about the lighting. I had a serious lighting issue with this, but um, this is an F80 board for USI. Uh, the F80 boards are MDB, however, they do not report cash sales. And uh, the biggest reason that I'm installing all those credit card readers is for the cash sale reporting. So if you don't care about cash sale reporting, I just leave the F80 in there and call it good because uh, the credit card reader does work right now. I just can't see how much money is in my bill collector and I can't really see the inventory of my machine, which is why I'm doing this whole thing. Now, uh, I knew lighting was going to be an issue here. What I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm unplugging everything associated with the motherboard and uh, it takes me a long time to figure out that I should have just removed that entire harness, but uh, when we get there, we'll get there, right? This is, uh, I haven't really done this with you guys yet. I haven't uh, done a motherboard install video. I figured it was kind of important to uh, show you guys some of the struggles you got to deal with. Uh, I think that might be what I, what I title this video, Struggles Are Real. <laughs> uh, but installing a motherboard is actually really easy. Uh, you just got to follow your basic instructions and get it done, you know? Um, a lot of people ask me where I get my motherboards from or where I get my upgrade kits from. Uh, not so much on YouTube, more on Facebook. Uh, but you can see we've got the old motherboard removed now. And uh, we're going to start pulling stuff apart. So there are two places you can get it. You can either get it from Vendors Exchange or you can get them from uh, DNS Vending. Those are the two places that I know of um, and the two places that I have worked with. Uh, between the two of them, they both, uh, they both are like spot on on their pricing. Upgrades are right around 315 bucks per machine, it seems like. I haven't, the only machine I've run into where the upgrade is more than that is when I had to buy the upgrade from Royal. I haven't actually bought an upgrade from Royal yet, but I have to, and it's uh, $427. It's wicked expensive. So uh, we're going to be doing some upgrades on those here soon. This board is called an N1 board. I'm pretty happy with the instructions, actually. The pictures, they've got uh, figures and pictures and stuff that comes with a dex port. That's your dex port right there. And uh, the figures are wicked, wicked easy to understand. Uh, you literally got step by step what you're doing. Uh, right now, I'm going through here. I'm looking at this because this is the first time I've dealt with this all together. That screen lights up so much more than the other one did. I'm so happy with how powerful this screen is, and uh, it also it also gives you a uh, time. Uh, time configure configuration so you can see what time it is on the machine <laughs> which I thought was kind of neat but I'm uh, very very excited with uh, how this works now I'm one of those people one of those people that do this all the time I uh, go out of my way to try to figure out how to do it myself without reading the instructions first I don't recommend that I definitely needed to pull the instructions out to figure out how this worked on this one because there was a lot of parts I wasn't really used to having um, the in one board comes literally with everything you need and uh, you can see right here I'm already getting confused I'm like where does this thing go <laughs> so I wind up wind up messing with it a little bit before I actually figured out um, I wind up reading the instructions is what I wind up doing should have done that all along <laughs> so uh, right now while while you guys are watching me install this here I'm gonna go ahead and search the machine and see how the machines doing um, it is reporting cash sales now looks like it's got six dollars in it now um, 
see if we can see the dashboard on it, see how the credit card sales are. See, yep, uh, today we've already made $2 in, uh, $2 in credit card sales and a dollar in cash sales. It's still early morning. It's about 10 a.m. Uh, usually the uh, sales pick up right after, right, right after noon-ish is when the sales start to pick up. And, uh, top 10 events for time period today. Device power down, connection, blah, blah, blah. I wonder, I wonder if they shut the power down on uh, the outlets that this is plugged into at night. I'm curious because I get a power down report on this machine, or I've gotten a power down report on this machine uh, without me being there. But something cool about these two is uh, when you upgrade the motherboards and stuff to the credit card readers or whatnot, It'll, they'll actually tell you like what happens with a machine like if it if it powers off or anything like that you know but uh, you can see right now what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a, uh, a lens in there I know I'm not putting the lens in just yet yeah the lens is already in there uh, we're putting spacers or extenders I'm not, I'm not sure what you would call those they're uh, they're little nuts that extend everything you can see I'm looking at the instructions how to do this um, they're going to push the uh, the plate that holds the motherboard up off the machine a little bit, so it's got some room. Oh, there's the lens. There's the lens. It was actually, uh, the picture shows a little clear piece, but uh, I didn't have a clear piece in mind. I had a little square cardboard looking piece, but it wasn't, it wasn't what we needed. So, I'm going to keep going with that. But today it looks like uh, someone bought the last Danish in the machine. I don't know if you can tell from here, but there's one Danish left in there. I need to go back to this machine and fill up the <laughs> fill up the Danishes because they buy a crap ton of them. They love them. Someone bought some chips and someone bought a Dr. Pepper. I think we're going to take out one of the columns of um, Diet Coke and replace it with another column of Dr. Pepper because these guys buy so much Dr. Pepper. It's insane how much Dr. Pepper they buy. Actually, uh, it's funny because I couldn't really tell with, uh, with the system I was using before, I couldn't really tell what products were selling faster. Like, I, I could tell, but I, I couldn't tell well enough to actually like make educated decisions on what to change out with the credit card readers I with the credit card readers I like literally watch it happen sorry about that I had to yawn I, just, I couldn't hold it I didn't really want to pause the video so I just let it happen but uh, guys I want to uh, I want to say thank you real quick because I released a video that was like 30 minutes long the statistics on the watch time were ridiculous. They're like, you guys literally watched the whole video. <laughs> A whole bunch of you guys watched the entire video. I can't thank you guys enough for that. And the amount of people that interacted was awesome. The, uh, I went to go answer uh, comments literally the next day after it was done. And, uh, there was 140 some odd comments. I was just like wicked overwhelmed. I was like, wow, this is crazy. So uh, thank you guys for that. I really, <laughs> I really appreciate all the love. That was awesome. But, uh, it looks like we're putting the plate on. Oh, am I missing the screwdriver? This is actually kind of funny. I'm looking all over the place for the screwdriver. I wind up like, where did I put it? It's underneath, like I even look in that box, it's in that box underneath the motherboard. <laughs> oh man. I'm just like looking all over the place too. I'm just like, what in the world happened to that thing? Can't figure it out. But, uh, I've gotten a lot of really good feedback on the, uh, the common music. Love it guys. Thank you so much for, uh, helping me perfect my videos. Um, I owe it all to you guys really do. Every one of you guys have been great with this.
I still can't find the screwdriver. Where is the screwdriver? I must look up there. So I've got a really bad habit of just putting everything on top of the machine and then walking away from it later. So I'm always checking the tops of machines. Did I find it yet? Ah, oh, there it is. I found it. That was, <laughs> that was funny. I'm going to go over to the product map real quick and just uh, check out, see how this machine's doing while we're installing the motherboard here. Ah, I finally got smart and took that thing off. Should have taken that thing off in the beginning. Would have been so much easier to see what I was doing. There's a lot of wires here. You gotta kinda use common sense and like really look at what you're doing. Um, towards the end of this, there is a power cable. It's actually the, you know, you can't see it anymore. It fell down, but um, it's a three, it's like a three prong cable with only two wires going into the pins. And uh, I didn't know which pin was positive and which pin was negative or if it mattered or any of that. So I had to pull up a picture that I had taken of the motherboard days ago on Facebook <laughs> and uh, see exactly like how I had it. Uh, I strongly recommend if you guys get into this yourself and you're just going to do the repairs yourself, before you take the motherboard off, uh, make sure that you take a picture of it because that will wind up saving you so much. Those uh, sunflower seeds, I don't know if you guys see them, but those sunflower seeds are selling really well here. I'm really, really surprised at how well they're selling. I wish, uh, I wish when I serviced this machine I actually had a full stock of product in the van because I would have filled the machine to its peak if I did, but I didn't. The uh, number one selling soda in that machine right now is definitely, definitely Dr. Pepper. So I need to, uh, I need to make sure we get a second column of Dr. Pepper in there. Looking at the, uh, looking at the old, the old instructions again. This is, uh, this is where the instructions came in really handy again. They told me which way to mount the new board. Uh, this board's not screwed in or anything. It's, there's just little pins that hold it in place and they kind of like snap out after you push it in and now uh, hold it in place. It's kind of neat. Now here is where the common sense part comes in. Uh, not quite yet. We got to install the DEX port first. Install the DEX port. I was hoping that there would be a little bit more instruction when it came to uh, some of the wiring but it really is common sense like look at the pins and you can't really mess it up if you plug something into something that doesn't fit there <laughs> it probably shouldn't be there so i'm removing a uh, removing a ground wire real quick we're going to rewire that ground wire in i'm realizing i don't have enough hands to do what i'm trying to do <laughs> and there i go with that horrible habit of putting stuff on top of the machine. I need to figure a way to stop that. But uh, we're going to put that ground wire back in and screw that little thing back together. I'm so glad that bracket, that's such a good place for that bracket to be. I think it came from the manufacturer like that too. We're going to tighten this sucker right down. We'll be good to go on that. At this point, we're going to start plugging everything back together. We're getting, uh, we're getting back to that point. I got really confused plugging it back together too, because I wasn't. There's wires that don't need to be plugged in, and I wasn't sure what got plugged in where. <laughs> so I wind up going back and forth. I know Dex goes there because it says right on the motherboard, Dex here. So I put that in there, and then uh, you can see I've already plugged the uh, keyboard pin in. It's the little blue one in the front there. That's a super easy one. There's nowhere else that that one would go. I'm holding the power cable in my hand right now. And this is the one I'm super confused on. I don't know what side goes to which. So I'm going to read a little bit and see if I can figure out from reading. But uh, that's ult ultimately I just wind up looking for a picture and doing it with a picture. 
looks like we've sold the Twix. We sold, oh, they're buying some peanut M&Ms, that's for sure. Almond Joy. Oh, that's a mistake. I don't have 12 mounds in there. Or I don't have, there we go. Look at that. I just updated something. No, that's a par. I don't, don't want to do that. 18. That's what we want there. That's good. Yep. Moving stuff around. So it looks like uh, the plug that I just plugged in, the big one, that is all your motors. And we got the decks plugged in. We're getting somewhere now. And plug that right into the motherboard. I wasn't really sure what this went to. Looking all around for it. Does it go there? Or... I'm actually trying to figure out where in general it goes to. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't actually see anything. But looks like it plugs in right there. I still don't actually know. I think that might be a drop sensor. Not entirely sure, but I think it might be a drop sensor. Makes sense, because this machine is never uh, uh, it's never eaten a dollar on a snack before. It's eaten a dollar on a soda before, but um, it's never eaten a dollar on a snack. So that, what I'm holding right now, isn't like totally necessary. That is the old coin, yeah, the old coin acceptor and bill acceptor uh, hookup. If you wanted to use like a maca or something, or not a maca. A pre MDB setup, I believe. I'm still going through trying to figure things out on this. It's just the wire, the wire in particular that I'm trying to figure out is the power wire. I don't want to hook it up backwards or upside down, or I don't want to hook it up the wrong way. That's uh, that's really the big thing. Don't hook it up the wrong way. But. Uh, wind up pulling my phone out and finding a picture of it. I'm going to sit here on my phone for a little while trying to figure it out. Ironically, I just uh, I just picked up my phone. <laughs> Guys, it's so ridiculously windy outside right now. I don't know. Uh, I'm filming this on Friday or I'm, I'm dubbing this on Friday the 1st and it is it's incredibly windy. Like My trailer actually got blown backwards so I had to hook it up to the van so it wouldn't fly around. It's a really light trailer though so kind of makes sense that that might happen. I had to look through, uh, this is a Facebook group that I'm looking through right now called uh, Full Line Bending something. I'm gonna look it up real quick while we're, while we're doing this. Full Line Bending Tips and Discussion. Where is it? Keep looking. Keep looking. Can't find it. It took me a while to find that picture. I was just like, where is it? I literally, I think I posted it like a couple weeks prior to actually, uh, yeah, posted a couple weeks prior to this. That's a motherboard. Is it my motherboard? Nope, but that's my motherboard. That's the one. We found it. I know how it goes now. Plop. Man, we got this. Look at that. We got it. Yeah. So it's so hard to work on this machine because I need to move the machine over to the left a little bit because now that it's got the credit card reader on the top, I can't open the door all the way because it hits the little, it hits the trim if I do. And uh, I don't want to, I don't want to mess with anything. But now we're going to put our sticker on. This uh, the sticker tells us how to program it. I was going to film the programming part, but then I like thought about it and I was like, you know, you guys aren't really going to be able to see anything when it comes to programming. I wonder 
if I, uh, geez, that tree looks like it's gonna come down on me right now as I'm filming. Wouldn't that be something else? I would definitely upload the video if the, if the tree came down and it was just like nothing but loud noises, crunch, crack, bang, and I got the file, I'd totally, I would totally send that in. Guys, we're at the uh, 20 minute and 14 second mark here. I want to test something again. I want you guys to, uh, for those of you who made it this far, um, what's our code word today? I want to see what our code word in the comments is going to be. Um, I don't know. Uh, what should the code word be? <laughs> uh, you know what? Comment, the bottom of the machine is clean. If, uh, if you made it this far into the video, comment, the bottom of the machine is clean. I want to see uh, how many people made it this far. It's, it, was, it was so crazy how, uh, how many people uh, commented in the last video, or not the last video, it probably was the video before that, but the video where uh, it was like 30 minutes long, I think at the uh, 12 minute mark, or the 11 minute mark, I asked people to uh, comment long haul, and I got like 240, like as of right now, I'm gonna look at it right now. As of right now, I think I've got like 240 comments on it. It's totally, like, you guys blow my mind. You guys are amazing. 246 comments on it right now. It's my top top ranking video in the last, uh, in the last 10 videos that I've produced. It's got 4,800 uh, views on it right now. You guys are absolutely amazing. You, you, Bear Squad, you get it done. You get it done right. Best group of people ever. So we're gonna reinstall this sucker, put it all back together. Uh, this is all stuff, since I've gone full time, this is all stuff that I've been able to do um, that has like been on the back burner. I just haven't been able to do this stuff between working my full-time job and actually like YouTube and stuff like that. It's been pretty difficult for me. But, oh, look at that, the power's on, we're doing good. Look at how bright that display is. That display is super, super bright and it matches the credit card reader. It's going through and checking everything out right now. I'm super, super happy with the way it looks. I've, that display just looks beautiful compared to the last one. The other display was fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with the other display. This this just looks, it appears so much better. And the visibility is way higher. It's, I can't wait to, I can't wait to get some of my other machines upgraded. When you upgrade the motherboard, it always comes with a new, uh, comes with a new, whatchamacallit there. Um, brain's not working, guys. Comes with a new screen. LCD screen. But uh, that's it for this one, guys. Bear Squad, peace out. Remember to love life and live your dreams. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's see if I can hit this button at the right point in time on this. For the record, I did.